Hey, Aubrey here with Parts Tech. Today I'm going to show you the three different ways to search for a vehicle in Parts Tech. So Parts Tech defaults to a year, make, and model search. First you have your year, your make, and your model, as well as your sub-model. Moving on to our keyword search. Just simply type in the vehicle you're looking for. And then select the submodel and the vehicle will populate for you as well. Lastly would be our plate to VIN decoder. If you're using a shop management system, the, the VIN number will auto automatically populate into parts tech for you so you don't have to worry about adding a vehicle or a VIN number. But if you're using it as a standalone, like many do, you can use our plate to VIN decoder and save you a lot of time. So if you just select the state first and then type in the license plate number, then hit the search button. It'll populate the vehicle for you. If you wanted to use just a VIN number, all you'd have to do is simply select the VIN, copy and paste it in there, and then hit the search button. And there's the vehicle for you. If you need to see a little bit about the vehicle, all you have to do is select the VIN details button, and it'll show you a little bit more about that vehicle. That's the three ways to search for a vehicle on Parts Tech. Hey everyone, just wanted to show you guys the four different ways to search for parts on Parts Tech. Uh, as you can see here, I already have a vehicle pulled up, this 96 Chevrolet. And what I have here is just a, a drop down menu search. So uh, think about our bar a lot like Google, it's going to auto predict what you're going to say. And all I did was select radiator here. So what that's doing is just grabbing the radiators from my commercial accounts all at the same time for this uh, 1996 truck. Uh, so I can see the inventory of all four of those suppliers for this radiator search. And just think of the drop down menu as a specific way to do a part type search uh, on our website. Now, anytime that you guys choose to hit this search button instead of the drop down menu, what that does is does more of a keyword search for those parts. So you're going to see a lot more inventory when you hit that button on, on parts tech. And on the left hand side, it actually lists some of the part types that are on there as well. Uh, so for each one of my suppliers, uh, I'm seeing the hoses, the peacock drains, uh, the bushings, and those other items that uh, go along with that radiator search for each one of my suppliers. Uh, just keep in mind another thing that's handy is to sort the parts on the left hand side. So if I only want to see the hoses, the radiator caps, uh, and the radiators themselves, I can choose those parts and apply the changes. And the nice thing about that is it'll also uh, do the same for your other suppliers. And this just narrows down that broader keyword search uh, a little bit more precisely to find the parts you need uh, faster on that particular search. Uh, so keep in mind there is going to be a couple more ways to do this. And we recommend trying out category searches as well. Uh, it's good to help draw out hard to find parts or if the suppliers call uh, gaskets and seals by different names, sometimes you can do the category searches to rope in the uh, parts that you're looking for a little bit easier as well. Uh, so that's going to be three different ways to search so far. So the drop down menu being the precise one, clicking the button being the keyword search, and the category uh, as another backup way to search, uh, and actually a preferable method for some people uh, that use their site as well. And lastly, and the best way to search on parts tech, well, really the only way when you don't have vehicle information already input in our system is to actually do a part number search in this separate bar up here. And by typing in that part number, uh, it's an auto zone part number. It's showing me all my filters here. And it's also showing me the interchanges for advanced and world pack as well. Uh, keep in mind that you can do a part number search with an OEM part number, and we will convert that over to your local suppliers uh, as well. Uh, one last thing I did want to show you uh, while I had your attention. Uh, this is one of the 
best ways to search for multiple parts uh, at the same time. And these are our, what we like to call canned jobs here. And it's a great way to hunt down all the parts you need at once for some of these basic jobs that you all do every day. So for this alternator replacement, uh, we're going to be able to find uh, the alternators themselves, the serpentine belts, the tensioners, uh, and, and some of the kits that go along with those jobs as well. Uh, so keep in mind to type replace, R-E-P-L, into that search bar when you have those vehicles preloaded and be sure to check our can jobs and use the sorting on the left hand side to narrow down the results uh, to better help you guys find what you need as well. Hey everyone, just wanted to show you uh, that with Parts Tech, we keep track of all the orders that you place inside of our system. So if you guys are currently going to those individual websites to order your parts, you don't have one centralized place to be able to see where your Napa, AutoZone, and, and WorldPack uh, orders were placed. Uh, but it's kind of nice to be able to come to this one spot. Uh, I can click into here and see uh, exactly what I ordered, all my confirmation info, how much it was, how many of them I ordered. And I can also see the personalized notes that I wrote to the supplier. Looks like I, I purchased this at the end of the day and I just let them know that I didn't need it until tomorrow. So that way when I was closing the doors of the shop, uh, Napa knew to send me that uh, on the next truck uh, on the next day. I did want to also show you that you can click on your uh, custom PO number here and you could also have a nice printout to show uh, whoever your customers are uh, for the parts that you ordered for them as well. Now when you're navigating uh, this uh, other more uh, admin side of the accounts, uh, keep in mind that if you're using one of our partners you can find the API information uh, right here. Uh, so that's just a quick copy and paste to integrate to some of our uh, great partners. So when it comes to adding users to your profile, if you just go to your account uh, up here on the top right and move over to users, uh, you can see the different users that have their own individual logins uh, onto this one parts tech profile. Uh, what's kind of nice is when you have your own user created, you're going to be the one that gets those confirmation emails when those parts are ordered. Uh, so you don't have to bother your colleagues uh, on those parts. You can get notified on the status of those parts. Uh, but keep in mind with Parts Tech, you could have 5, 10, uh, you know, 15 people in the shop or more using the Parts Tech profile on multiple computers, tablets, and cell phones, and it won't interrupt the searching and parts ordering for the other people if you only have a single user hooked up on Parts Tech. What I also like to show you is how you can uh, customize the suppliers on your profile yourself. So if I click on my suppliers, right now I have Napa up top. And let's just say uh, I start ordering from AutoZone a little bit more. Uh, now AutoZone is going to show first Napa second. And you can drag these up and down and choose who you want to see first, second, third, and, and fourth, and fifth. Uh, keep in mind when you'd like to add another supplier, you can just click on this uh, button down here at the bottom. Uh, as you can see on my demo account, it's based upon my uh, geographic location. So I do have uh, some of these suppliers, uh, but one of them that I don't have is actually ICP. So let's say I want to add ICP on a parts tech, uh, but this isn't my preferred location. I'm going to click this uh, nine more locations and uh, I'm going to go ahead and, and choose uh, this other location to connect to. Now, when you're hooking up your account, if you know your account info, uh, go ahead and click this button on the left-hand side, and that's what's going to be able to give you uh, the box to type in the account information and uh, go ahead and get that connection live. But if you don't know your account info, you can click this button on the right to have a parts tech representative reach out to you to help you gather that information. The key thing to keep in mind is we won't necessarily reach out to uh, international car parts to get an account created for you. 
But if you have a parts uh, person that has all the account info and you're the shop owner and you don't, then the parts tech representative will reach out to the parts department, grab the account information for you, and then configure ICP for you. I just wanted to make that clear. Hey everyone, just wanted to point out a couple features in regards to uh, where the part is coming from. Uh, now that's gonna vary a little bit based upon the supplier. So uh, advanced, for instance, this is showing my primary store. So this is over here in Bristol, Connecticut, showing there's one inventory. There's two for this particular uh, belt. And as you come down here, and you can see the little arrow and the ch color change. So this is telling me it's in the network of stores and I even have the explanation there and what that means. So keep in mind when you're ordering, you might run into a distribution center, you may run into a hub, uh, but if it's coming from your network of stores, you can definitely get it. Uh, it might take a little bit longer than your normal hotshot delivery, uh, just because your local store has to get it from one of their neighbors. Uh, so keep an eye on where the part's coming from uh, to keep your expectations of that speed delivery on par with what you see from the supplier websites. Uh, also keep in mind that at the very bottom of the page, you can choose to show all the out-of-stock parts. Uh, so that's another function that uh, we have on our site. We just default to not showing those out-of-stock parts to minimize confusion there. Uh, moving back over to uh, Advance, here's AutoZone with the hub example, but moving back to Advance, uh, one other thing I wanted to show you guys is you have the ability to click into the parts themselves. Uh, this is a pretty common truck and it's also a very common belt, but if you want to see the other vehicles that this belt will work on, we do all have all that manufacturer data, uh, comes directly from the supplier websites, and this is also going to be where you have additional pictures uh, of the parts, so if you needed to see diagrams or any other information, uh, just keep in mind that you can click into the part uh, right there and see all those extra photos, see uh, the different vehicles that they work on. Uh, but keep in mind for Napa, it says in store and it'll say DC for distribution center. Uh, so the suppliers like Whirlpack, it's gonna show you on a location uh, by warehouse basis as well. And with Whirlpack, a great thing to point out is order time, order by X, get by X. So for your normal delivery, if you're used to ordering it by five o'clock and getting it by seven o'clock in the morning, uh, it looks like this is gonna be uh, one of the normal deliveries just like you see on speed dial. Hey guys, uh, today I just wanted to go over uh, the Parts Tech catalog. Uh, the Parts Tech catalog is our uh, internal catalog of about seven million parts and drop shippers both regionally and nationally. Uh, it's typically used for hard to find parts. Uh, so if you're looking for a suspension strut for an 08 BMW 328i, you're looking down here and you see the, uh, the B6, you don't really want that, you want to upgrade to the B8. So we find the B8 here. Uh, we're just gonna check the availability. It says six in stock from six suppliers. Uh, so let's go ahead and just check that availability. So it pulls up, uh, you can order these parts for motor distribution. They have uh, two plus in stock. Shipping is available, so we wanna go ahead and check the price. And then we can see our price here. We can add it to the cart. Uh, shipping's available. Um, free shipping tells you a little bit about the part. Interchanges. So we're gonna add that to the cart. Proceed to checkout. Then from here, you're going to bring, it's going to bring up your review order page so you can see your delivery options. So you can do uh, your free ground shipping four to nine business days, or you can choose to expedite that to express or next business day. Uh, so let's go ahead and we're going to, we want it the next day. We're going to proceed to check out. And then this is where you can enter your credit card number and pay for the part. Once the, all that information is entered, simply proceed and then it'll order the part for you.
Hey guys, uh, what I'm going to show you now is um, how to check out the checkout process, uh, how, what it looks like, um, how Parts Tech will allow you to order multiple parts from multiple suppliers at the same time. So that process looks a little bit like this. So we have our 96 S10 here with our alternator replacement can job. So uh, we see AutoZone's our first supplier. So we like this alternator right out of the get-go, so we're going to go ahead and add that to the cart. And it's going to go ahead and check the availability. Once it's available, it's going to add it to the cart here. Next, we're going to run over to Napa and grab us a belt. We like that belt and the price. Check the availability. It's in stock. Adds to the cart. Next, what we're going to do is run over to Advance and see if we can get an idler pulley for a decent price. Great. Add that to the cart. So now we have three different parts from three different suppliers. So what we're going to do now is run up to our uh, shopping cart. Uh, to hover over it, uh, it's going to bring up our speed cart. So it'll show you everything inside of our cart here um, and the price. If it looks good, simply proceed to check out. If you see something in the side of this cart that uh, doesn't look right or uh, you have an extra item in there, you can simply just X out of it by selecting the X button. So those parts look good. So what we're going to do is go ahead and proceed to checkout, and it's going to bring up your review order page. So it's the same information from before. So you have your part name, you have your part number, what vehicle it fits on, how many is available in store, uh, you're shipping from and you're shipping to um, your quantity. If you needed to update the quantity on the fly, you, all you'd have to do is simply change the number to whatever that is and then update it, and then your price will reflect it here. If you scroll down, it's the same for advance. And then it brings up your total order. So from here, with Parts Tech, it gives you the ability to order from one supplier or it gives you the ability to order from multiple suppliers at the same time. So if we wanted to order just this part from Napa, we would simply select proceed to checkout, follow the checkout process, and it would order that part from Napa. But if we wanted to order from both, we would scroll all the way to the bottom of the screen, proceed to checkout, and it would bring up our review order page as well review payment page. From here, it's your billing address, shipping address, and it brings up your uh, PO numbers and then notes to suppliers. Same for NAPA and Advance. So if you go over here to your PO number, however uh, you organize yourself, whether that would be by license plate or by uh, PO number or last name, you could simply just type in that box. It's a free form box and that would be your PO number. So we'll just send the note to the supplier, so we need this ASAP. So that's going to send that note to NAPA saying we need that part as soon as possible. Same for advance. ASAP. Everything looks good, so we're going to go ahead and submit that order. Then it's going to blast off those orders to Napa and Advance, and then they should be on their way.